Good morning, Sila Wolves. Welcome to Wolf TV, a production of Sila Broadcast Network. Buenos dias, Sila family. I am Christina. Y yo soy Ashley. Happy, happy today, September 19th. Please stand of the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for a sure stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the weather. Good morning, Sea Levels. It's 60 degrees and mostly sunny right now. This afternoon is going to be 18 degrees and sunny. Constantly continue all day. Now back to our host. Thanks for the weather update. Now for the lunch menu. Today's lunch menu is sweet teriyaki popcorn chicken, rotini with Italian meat sauce, artisan roll, glazed carrot coins, pinto beans, and a variety of fruits. Now back to our host. This is this month is Hispanic Heritage Month. Today we want to show you a video of Ellen Ochoa. Let's have a look. It was and is a male-dominated industry, but American space travel would not have taken off without the input and expertise of women. And in April 1993, Ellen Ochoa wrote her name in the stars as the world's first female Hispanic astronaut. Raised in La Mesa, a California city with a large Hispanic population, Ochoa learned to play the flute and was encouraged by her family to pursue a musical career. But it was her fascination with science and the mysteries of the universe that took her on a different life trajectory. Majoring in physics, Ochoa graduated top of her class from San Diego State University and went on to earn a doctorate in electrical engineering at Stanford. While there, she also played the flute in the university's symphony orchestra. In her spare time, she made breakthroughs in the study of optical physics. Inspired by pioneering female astronaut Sally Ride, a fellow Stanford graduate, Ellen decided she wanted to follow her example. Initially rejected by the NASA training program, Ochoa was not one to give up. She took it upon herself to train for a pilot's license and was determined to reapply. On her third attempt, she was finally accepted and was on the way to becoming the first Hispanic American woman in space. After completing NASA's notoriously challenging two-year astronaut training, Ochoa was selected to serve as mission specialist among the five-member crew. In April 1993, she became the first Latina to enter orbit in the space shuttle Discovery. And to her family's delight, the first person ever to play the flute in space. It was a landmark moment for Hispanic people everywhere, but Ochoa did not stop there. She went on to spend almost 1,000 hours in space during four further missions. In 2013, she became the first Hispanic director of the Johnson Space Center, where she continues to inspire new generations of aspiring astronauts. Why is it important that women and men of every race 
have the same opportunities. Today's positive, positive affirmation is, I am proud of myself. Today is B-Day in middle school. I am Ashley. Joy, Sally, Christina. Adios! See you later, Gator. After a while, crocodile. Chop, chop, lollipop. Out the door.